Vancouver. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And welcome to Dubai. Thank you very much. And you come with us beauties. So beautiful and congratulations. Thank you very much. I've been told that I'm the first one to check out these yeah. pieces. Exactly, we're so happy finally they have arrived in Dubai and to have it with you and the, the watch club is very special for us. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Uh, can you tell us about this? Because I believe uh, Norkin just started four years ago yeah. and where you are at today, is, is, it is really what we can say only way to go, Bill. <laughs> thank you so, very much. Tell us about the start and about where you are now. The, you know, the start, I think that's what it always should be. It was about passion. We really wanted to do it. We really wanted to be an independent brand below 10,000 Swiss francs, because as you know, the most of the independent Swiss brands, they are in the, high, yeah, in the Expensive. higher price. So I thought it would be nice to bring great quality products back to an accessible price and bring in a new brand there. And then what happened from there, you said it, you know, it's a bit crazy, but four years ago we had a dream and today now we are, we are really, you know, happy where we stand and we have great support from all of you, so thank you very much. Yeah, that's great, but I, I can't see, uh, Norken, you found your DNA so, so fast, so quick. Sometimes some brands are struggling to find the DNA, yeah. but Norken found their DNA and I can see you have only three collections and uh, even your new uh, collection come from the independence exactly. collection. Yes, correct. So, uh, what you did with the independence collection came with Wild One. Tell us about Wild One and the story behind it. Yeah, I mean, maybe to start with, you know, the clarity and DNA of the brand, it was a good choice to found a new brand. Because obviously we looked at a lot of existing brands, but every time I said, but it's not our story. You know, our story now is really to create our own three collections, to build the brand. And Wild One is a typical extension of this because the, the Wild One collection, we were looking at our collection after three years together with Jean-Claude Beaver. And he said, it's great. You have a great quality base. You have nice designs. What I would like from you guys is to challenge the market, to bring something that nobody has done. Good. So we knew that this was a new watch, a new, and we knew the name Wild One was a good start. We had the name before we even started because we said it has to be wild, it has to be different. So wild because it has to be wild. It has to be different. It has to be the ultimate sports watch. That's something what we always said, you know, Jean-Claude said, you are so sporty, you are New York Marathon sponsors, you are, but we need to have this in the product. So that's when Wild One was uh, born. Oh, great. So the, tell us the difficulties that you faced because the materials you are using here, the shape, we want to, where did you get the idea is it of the shape? It is from the collection itself, already models that they exist already? Exactly. Or yeah. from... Uh, Something, that, not the inspiration, it's a very good point. We had two things to start. We said we wanted to do a different material than steel or titanium, something new. And the second was, we said we like the independence. The collection has something different. Uh, it's already quite unique in its shape and the way we, we produce it. Um, so Jean-Claude and I, we said, let's make a wild independence. And uh, that's how we started. Nortec was then born with Pascal Burkhardt, my, my friend from Biwi. Biwi is one of the best suppliers in yeah, Switzerland. Yeah, I know they are doing the uh, Richard Mill and Oblo and... Uh, AP, yeah, yeah, you know, all the nice brands. And nice he's one. a great friend and he's a fantastic guy. So you have done with them the materials, the composition? Yes, they are a fantastic uh, supplier. They oh. are really doing the great work. And yeah. he spoke to me and he said, Ben, I would you know, love to do something different for you. Yeah. So we worked together on the material and so soon we found Nortec. So Nortec, as, as you maybe read, is a, we've managed to um, color the carbon fibers. Yes. So it's okay, you, you can always, you have carbon with color, yes. but those are always sheets of carbon, one on top of each other. Great look, but it's a bit fragile because it can break. What we did, we put the carbon fibers into a mass, so it's solid, and you cannot, so we don't cut it. We don't cut the edges, so nothing can break. So it's more solid because it's produced in the mass, injected, and Nortec is today, in our opinion, a great, 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 uh, ultra robust material, something that nobody has done, so it's, it's a nice one. Yeah. Nice. So you did this strategy or this plan on the independence collection. Wild one, you, you made it in independence collection. Are you going to do the same with the other collections? Something like that with carbon? 
maybe you know we, we we now start and we're innovating so there will definitely be innovative product also in the freedom and in the adventure collection the adventure collection will be first uh, because of course the freedom is more a vintage inspired collection yes. and there is less pressure to innovate but the adventure collection we have some plans but nortech now is reserved for the for the wild one for two three other projects we have the wild one has limitless possibilities uh, that you can do with it also in terms of case shape and we have different movements as you know yes. uh, also from Kennedy we have new movements coming in the future you, you, you answered my next question <laughs> my next question was going to be about movement and um, so you made your own with Kennedy right yes uh, when is this going to be ready well, the Kennedy movement, as the three hand and the GMT we have now, yeah, the three yeah. hand is here. We have a uh, two, two, or I, three. I, I, new but you told me about the new, new project. Yeah. It's uh, it's not next year, uh, but we hope that we will be ready in two, three years with it. To, uh, the new development, something that we really need in our collection. What I can see with Norkan complication, you have the GMT, you have the chronograph. <coughs> Are you going to go? And you have, uh, yeah, a GMT and chronograph. Mm -hmm. That's it. So yeah. and the normal one. Yeah. Okay, so we're actually missing the chronograph still today. Um, but I have seen the chronograph. The, yeah, it's a it's a ETA based seventy seven fifty three. No, I'm not. Uh, but you have it. You have. We it. have it in the collection. Yeah, yeah you have it in the collection. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. I'm asking, are you going to come with something like turbion, something like a chronograph more complicated, split segment? Sorry, um, split seconds. Yeah. Exactly. So we do have plans. Turbion is not on the list. Okay. I think we leave that to the other independent oh, then, players that okay, are doing okay, a great job. Okay. Um, no, but we have some plans in that direction. I think as a sport brand, you know, split seconds, these kind of complications, they make more sense for Norcane. So we are working more into the chronograph and I, uh, these kind of complications. Yeah, I would really love to see uh, split seconds uh, and Norcane because Wild One, I would love to see it as a, also in Wild One. Of course. Wild, Wild One, it's really... Uh, like distinguished the DNA of uh, of Norkin. Of course. And uh, I guess it will be the most popular so far until you break the <laughs> this with something new. Huh? Exactly. No, I mean we're we're you know we're over the moon. You know you can imagine when you work two years on the collection, there are moments always yeah. that are difficult. Um, sometimes we had problems, you know, working on the material, making the case. Um, of the Nortec, there is an uppercase and a lowercase. It's only 1.3 millimeters thick. Yeah. One point, so we had problems to produce this slim with this super hard material. So this kind of challenges, of course, you know, it's something that I remember, that I will always remember. So it's nice now to see the reactions of the customers because when you have these difficult moments, you always say, yeah, but it's worth it, it's worth, worth it. it. Yeah. And today we have the product and the reactions around the world. It pays off. Fantastic. Pays off, yeah, and, it pays off. Yeah. And, and uh, the, I always say the complications are two, not only the movement, also the material. And the constructions. Okay, yes. For me, new things. So I the materials, you, yeah. you, have, you have it in cross -side. This is a, another, another complication that some they don't pay attention to, yeah. but it is so important nowadays and we can see many brands yeah. they are nailing it. Yeah. They are doing very well. Yeah. And uh, Norkin, uh, one of the great brands now. No, doing thank very, you very, very well. Construction is something very interesting because it challenges you very much. M material is very interesting, but you can still imagine you can have a normal stamping process even on new materials. You can test to find the right material. But here we were in a difficulty to rebuild the watch and have a different material. We didn't know how it reacts. Every time we were testing, it was too hard and we were like, okay, how can we do it? So this was a really great part of Wild One was we were challenged in construction and the material. So it was a lot. Luckily, at least the movement, <laughs> we knew from Kennedy we have a great solution mm. that we already tested in the market. Okay, we are missing here today, definitely John uh, Club Beaver. Yes. So what does he think about the collection and, the, and about the feedback of the people? So what is his reaction now? It was great. In Zermatt, we had the event, you know, he spoke with me on the, the scene and he said something that I will never forget. He said, the wild one is much better even than I thought it would be, the final result. So, of course, for me, you know, Jean-Claude trusted us uh, as a brand, came in and, and, and we, we developed this product. For me, it was very important that at the end, we are both extremely happy. And to hear him say that it was more than what he even accept, expected. That's, that's so, nice. no, it's nice. And, uh, for Jean-Claude, you know, there was a lot of so much uh, constructive meetings we had about designs, about... So for me, it was very interesting also to discuss with somebody. Usually it's just me, I have to think and to actually challenge, you know, back and forth. What do you think? And so it was a great product. I'm very proud and it will definitely be a big part of our story, you know, for, for the future. Great. 
How did this collection or did this? No, we, I'm sorry, I'm asking too much about this collection. No, no, no. But this is, this is the star now. <laughs> of course, okay. it's the star of the moment. <laughs> yeah, now at the moment. So, how did this collection affect the sales in Norway in general? But so far, the, the thing is, we can see all the orders we got in, uh, which are huge. Uh, for, I told you before, the Burgundy and the Dean Schneider already sold out in, in allocation to the markets. Now we have to make sure that the customers, they can, can get it in different markets. But uh, for me, it's really about all also to see, you know, how is the Norcane brand being perceived? And I think we have three very strong collections and Adventure Freedom is already, you know, built a brand. As you know, we are now in 30 countries. So even with the, the last three weeks now since the launch, we see that there is very positive reaction just on the whole Norcane brand. We have been selling more watches than usual. So that's great. Um, and everybody is very, very uh, curious to meet the wild one because the deliveries, they start hopefully next week. So okay, but you didn't uh, actually, in general, the production of Norcane is not that big. <clears throat> no. You We're uh, around uh, 40 references today, total. So including um, 10 women's references. So it's a, it's a, we try to keep so the, the collection. Number of the watches yearly, uh, how many watches? <coughs> that we produce, we don't say because yeah, it's okay. an advantage yes, of yes. Uh, being independent. But we, 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 yeah, we, in general, what we can say is that we know, we started off in 2019. My dream was to do a thousand watches. I said, and every time I was calculating, never I. You started the sales 2019, but. 2019. But, but the company the in 2018. 18, yeah, yeah. Oh. 2018, we built the team. It took us one year to, to get everything ready, and 2019 we entered the market. It's a really great job, a great job. And so, <laughs> uh, so technically, you are really way less than, you are three years, not four yeah, years. Yeah, we are three and a half years old now. Yeah, yeah. If you think, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy, but it also shows you what's possible when, when things come together. You know, for us, we felt very quickly the support from many watch enthusiasts in different markets, the possibility of social media, you know, mm. just being in contact with everybody. Unbelievable. unbelievable for me it was you know a huge boost to see people sharing Norcane oh have you seen this brand or oh, have you seen this brand and then realizing that it's going from one country to the other when we launched in, 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 in Germany for example we had different followers who went to Munich to look at the collection so then it's spreading in Germany so I realized this is a way of building a brand it's a different way than doing billboards around the city I agree you know it's the, what best, I, the best way it's a very real way because you reach to the certain people who are, yes. exactly, who the, you, are you are looking for yeah. And, you know, uh, Norcane, uh, that's also a strength of independent brands. We are not producing, you asked before, I, not, mass. not hundreds of thousands of watches. We are trying to do something great at an amazing price with a team that loves watches in Switzerland. So that's our mission. You, know. you keep the quality. We, that's our, quality with us is the number one goal. Um, I think that's really, you know, the key that every brand has to have on the top level. And the followers of the people and the social media, they don't only know the watches now, they, they start to know the people behind the, of course. the brand, yes. like you, like John claude Beaver, yes, yes, yes. Like the team, which is really gives you the, the pleasure, right? You know? And this was uh, COVID, right? Uh, COVID. Co when co COVID started, I was obviously... We all, we all were, uh, we I was worried. felt, you know, everybody, of course, it was an awful time for yes. everybody around the world. But for us, we were a one and a half year old company. Who oh, just, not a good time. Not, not a good, good time. time. <laughs> so, but I couldn't know that it was actually a big opportunity for us as independents with a face. I did every Instagram live I could. I did, you know, talk to everybody I could. And it helped us to actually grow the brand in this time. So it was, it was actually nice to see sometimes a challenge can also be an opportunity in life. So exactly. it's just how you see it. <laughs> so yeah, we, are, we are really happy to see Norcane where it is today. And thank looking you so forward much. to see uh, uh, Norcane and uh, more, more success to success. Thank you. Can you now tell us about those? Beautiful pieces. Of course, so it's a pleasure. This is the so I'll start with the wild one Hakuna Mipaka edition. Um, what I can say is that Dean Schneider, who is you know a, a wildlife ambassador and Norcane ambassador, he lives in South Africa. So what we did is we have a, a design where we have the lion pattern on the strap. You can see it uh, here. We have uh, the lion pattern in the dial. Mm -hmm. We put sand from South Africa into the rubber, okay. <laughs> which was not easy. <laughs> And uh, you can see at the end, it's just a very nice look because you have this uh, sand. It's very adventurous. It gives the wild one a nice uh, look. So I'll give you the, so this, this, this And this is limited to? This is a limited edition to 500 pieces. It comes with a special Dean Schneider box, mm -hmm. uh, also with the lion pattern and a signed card by Dean 
for yeah. every single watch and the nice, watch of course. Nice, nice. So that's the, the Hakuna Mipaka uh, Wild One Edition. So that's the, the first. Then we have another limited edition, the grey and burgundy uh, with a red gold hands and index, which is really uh, uh, something special. Jean-Claude and I wanted to show that we can do colors <coughs> with Nortec, so we decided to go for Bordeaux. Bordeaux, burgundy, because there is not a lot of burgundy watches in the market. Exactly. It's something special. special. And grey and burgundy, again, because go it's even well, more different. <laughs> go well, it goes together very well. It, it goes well, very well, it's very sporty. I like the, the, the way it looks and the, you were wearing it before, I'll put it. So you have again, the North, even the plate is in Nortec, the burgundy plate is in Nortec. You have the Nortec cage on top, the Nortec cage below. That's what I was explaining. The four screws that hold together the construction. And then you have the rubber shock absorber in the middle. So that's really the construction of the wild one to understand how it's built. So it's, uh, and of course you have a rubber crown. So we want it to be, you know, good for shocks and bumps. You can wear it whatever you do if you're on an adventure. And yeah, you were <coughs> great. And then last but not least, our two editions that stay in the collection. Um, so here we went with black Nortec. Um, we have one with a beautiful khaki, which is the one I'm wearing, with a khaki rubber, khaki uh, shock absorber, and black Nortec plate. And you have the laser cut dial. And this is really important. I'm going to focus on, on, on this for here. It's three levels. Each of them has 0.05 millimeters of height. So yeah. um, it's really, really complex to produce. Mm -hmm. Take one hour just the laser cut procedure on every single dial to, to produce just the, the pattern before the putting pattern it. This, uh, just the pattern. You can see uh, in the detail. The pattern of the dial. You mean yeah, that? and we have it in black and blue. And the, the blue dial, of course, we wanted something, you know, super sporty. Yes. We went for a very poppy blue, uh, which is one that really is uh, ultra sporty. And you can see it's, it's something that really, you know, you can see on the wrist. So different styles. And it shows the possibility of wild one because we can go from a burgundy piece to a black and blue piece to a khaki piece. And we can do something fun like for Dean Schneider. So, the wild one, I think, in, a, in summary, is really a, a super cool sports watch, giving us a lot of possibilities to produce different styles. So beautiful. That's uh, really nice. Thank you. Uh, ben, thank you so much for giving us the, the opportunity to be the first people who check out this uh, beautiful pieces. And congratulations again for your beautiful uh, job. Thank you Wish so much. Wish you always the best. Thank you very much and really was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you very Have much. Have a lovely stay in Dubai. Thank you. And see you tonight. Okay, and see you tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.